Hi, my name is Tiffany Beers, and I'm providing you with footwear innovation insights for the FDRA's footwearinnovation.com. Today, we're going to talk about Nike's Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent. Now, this shoe is quite an accomplishment and has quite the record and performance behind it. I actually have a sample here. This isn't actually a sample. This is a pair. The only way I could get it was buying it off of StockX. So this is actually a women's size 10, so it's a bit of a large size for me. However, you can see it's not a small shoe, right? It's very thick. It's very big. It's very wide. Now, the amazing thing about it is it's super, super lightweight. So the interesting part about this is is the whole story of the shoe to be honest and and how it got engineered and brought together so originally when Yulid Kipchoge broke the two-hour marathon he was wearing a prototype of this shoe and then Nike said on their website so they developed it and brought it to us basically but this thing has a ton of technology in it right so it's got these two air zoom pods in it it's got this zoom X foam in the heel Plus there's a thin carbon fiber plate in the shoe. Now, if you look at this, the amazing part is really the lightweightness of it all. But from an engineering standpoint and from an innovation standpoint, this is an incredibly tall shoe. So getting it to be this tall and perform in the way that it does, you know, with foam midsole on top of airbags on with a plate in there, is quite an interesting innovation, right? So stability would be the main concern that I have in a shoe that is this tall. The upper now is also made of fly knit, but for the fly knit, you can tell it's very, very thin fly knit. You can see giant holes in it compared to what normal fly knit is. So in the, on the Nike website, they actually say, you know, they stretch and kind of lock out this fly knit to make it a thinner, more breathable material. I have to say, it's almost like a stocking. It's so thin. Now, this shoe has taken a serious, serious amount of engineering to make happen. I've not run in this shoe, but I've run in the 4% shoes and they absolutely are more comfortable. They take less energy to run. I know in my long 10, 12, 13 mile runs uh, that those shoes are helping me a ton. So this shoe is supposed to be even better. Now, what to take away from this shoe? how much engineering is your team putting in? Now this might be way too much engineering for a product that you have in your line, but just if you look at it and take a look at the different complexity level of engineering, maybe there's more you could bring to your product with a little bit more engineering, a little bit more materials innovation. This really has nothing new in it. There's no new technologies in this, right? It's flying it, it's Zoom airbags, it's Zoom X foam. So it's all existing technology but it's put together in a new and different way. Do you have existing technology that you can put together in a new and different way to create a different experience for your consumer? I'm Tiffany Beers, and I'm providing you with footwear innovation insights for the FDRA's footwearinnovation.com.